As the West Virginia Mountaineers were getting ready to close out 2020, the Mountaineers were supposed to play Buffalo, but Buffalo had to cancel out because of COVID, and so Northeastern became the opponent on December the 29th at the Coliseum in Morgantown, and the Mountaineers with an impressive win to improve its record to 8-2. and two. Yeah, West Virginia is so dominant inside, and I, I think their strength overall just wore down Northeastern. Give Northeastern uh, credit. They came out and started well, but West Virginia just too big and too strong. 18 points. The high scorer of the game was Derek Culver, who we talked to just a moment ago. 6'10", junior Derek Culver joins us after the Mountaineers 73-51 win. Uh, Derek, congratulations. And uh, if, you were, if you were Coach Huggins after this game, what would you be telling your teammates about this performance against Northeastern? Um, I would say it was, you know, it was a pretty much a hard-fought win. You know, at the beginning, we really wasn't playing to our, our best abilities. Um, I feel like we played to our competition. I feel like that's what Coach would go in there and tell us. Um, you know, we kind of just, you know, we got lax of days ago at times. We really wasn't capitalized on our opportunities, you know, scoring in the post. And then we have uh, double teams in the post to kick it out to the threes, like uh, Sean McNeil and Deuce McBride. <clears throat> so things like that. But I feel like if we just, you know, keep playing as a collective whole, as a group, I feel like everything will be all right. You were feeling it well early, weren't you? Ten quick points in the game. Yes, sir. Hey, Derek, tell me, uh, you really, really, I'm impressed with your right hand. I was a lefty, too, and my right hand never came around like that. Was that something you worked on over the summer a lot, or is it just what you've been doing in practice? Um, yes, sir. That's something I worked on a lot at practice, um, and over the, mostly over the summer, though. You know, um, a lot of teams, you know, from last year, they scouted me from being a left-hand player, left, uh, everything just left-hand, left-hand, left-hand. So I felt like I wanted to go back to the drawing board, you know, over the summer, and I wanted to work on my right hand, so, it, you know, it would make it harder to guard I me. Mean, you know, you couldn't really just predict what I was doing. So I feel like uh, I did a pretty good job over the um, offseason getting better with that. So I feel like in time... Time will tell, you know, if it keeps getting uh, progressing or this, that, and other. But, you know, as far as right now, I'm pretty happy with my right hand. Derek, congratulations. Good luck in Oklahoma. Thank you, sir. 18 for Derek Culver in the uh, point department uh, of the ball game. The uh, Culver uh, rebounds four, and Matthews with 13, and Sheba with 12. Are the Mountaineers ready for Big 12? Well, they better be <laughs> because it's coming quick and fast. And I'll tell you what, I think it's the best league in the country. And uh, I think the Mountaineers, if they play the way that they're capable of, they'll be right there at the top at the end. Good riddance 2020. The Mountaineers set for Oklahoma this weekend. Final score today, West Virginia 73, Northeastern 51. Thanks for joining us.